Hello everyone and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Imone Lokafo and today we'll be picking up from where we stopped in our last tutorial of creating a hut inside of Blender. In the previous tutorial we covered understanding your reference and we also blocked out the basic shapes of the hut as you can see in our 3D view. If you watch the tutorial you will notice I was using Blender 2.8, uh, but in this one I'll be using Blender 2.7 because the features um, in sculpting I wanted to use crashed it, and since it's an alpha in its alpha state, so we, it's expected. So I'm using the 2.79 for this tutorial because it's more convenient for me, and I want the tutorial to go go smoothly. Um, today, what we shall be doing is we'll basically. Um, getting the mesh ready um, for adding details so we shall be blocking out the details of this mesh and finally adding the micro details to the heart so let's start up um, let's prepare the mesh first of all so if we go into the object so it looks neat okay but what you can notice is that there's so much or too much um, try, um, rectangles and you don't want that when you're trying to sculpt the in details so you want to fix that before you go into the sculpting process so to do that we can just add more edge loops to make it um, like a perfect square um, so this is necessary because you want to avoid stretching like because we'll be using like alphas and with rectangles you get like a lot of stretching so you want to avoid that before you start up so i will just add the head loops around so we're almost done and yeah cool so we we'll, we just we will be detailing just the hot because the rest will be done with using texture at, at render time and for the roof it's going to be detailed with four so we don't need to worry about the underlying geometry so much um yeah so we'll just apply the origin and the rotation and scale and if you've never used the multi-resolution modifier is awesome for detailing your models so all Interface is quite easy. You can add subdivision, you can delete it. Um, that's how you reduce it and delete higher. So you can use the default or use the simple algorithm. So that's all I will say about the multi rest. So let's start up. So you go into your sculpt mode with your geometry selected, and let's subdivide it a few. So now we have like more vertices to sculpt on. Um, let me turn on this symmetry because I want to work fast. Um, then later I will use asymmetry to like make it um, not so identical. Um, we shall be working with like low geometry first, then we build up as we go. So first of all, let's sculpt the, bo the bottom side, the base, because it's not. It's like a mod, so gravity we pull it. Um, gravity like pulls it out, like it slopes down. And let's just do that. So I'm not going to like spend much time like I do in my own find my work. I will just show you guys the most important things to worry about and things to look out for. Then in your own time, you can spend more time in working on it. And don't forget to use reference. This reference is like really helpful. So I reduced it a bit because I found, I saw there's no need for like that amount of subdivision. So all I'm doing now is just deforming it to look like the reference which I'm looking at in my other screen. So if you don't have like a dual, like two screens, um, a quick tip is like you could go on Google and search for PureRef. It's like an awesome free tool 
that enables you to um, use um, reference image very well. Probably I'll make it like a better video um, advertising it though. I'm, not, it's not, I'm just doing it because it's like really helpful to, um, for me sometimes. Um, so I'm just going in and just deforming the shape. And so, um, there's still more work to do. So now we just go in and start adding more details. So I, when sculpting, I have like three different passes. So the first one is to just like deform the whole geometry to start getting close, closer to the re, final result. And then uh, the second pass is then I go in and fine tune those details. Then the final pass is where I start like adding the micro details that makes it look more awesome. So for this dot post, I think I'll just turn off the symmetry and because it's like very noticeable, even though the rest part are identical, the door side, it's like catches the eyes because humans, once they see how they look for an entrance, um cool so all i'm doing here is just like creating a, an underlying shape where i can add like the details from alpha which i created for you guys so the alphas will also be in the link um i it's not perfect but i think i'm just going to stop here because i don't want to do this tutorial for like over an hour, I just wanted to just pass the basic workflow. Um, yeah, so I think I'm good with this space. Um, the next stage of my detailing is using alpha. So as I said earlier, I created an alpha texture. So I'm going to provide it for you guys and you guys can use it for anything you want. So it's created from ZBrush. I sculpted it in ZBrush and created an alpha out of it. And you can use it in your project and we'll be using it in this project and it's the download link will be the, under this video so how, how i use this i'll be using this texture is pressing by pressing e and selecting the anchor so i'll be using the anchor as the stroke method this enables me to just drag out the texture on the geometry so just increase the shape if i was if I don't have like a perfect underlying geometry, you get like lots of stretching. But right now we are good because we prior to the sculpting we fixed that. So I will just drag out this texture on the hot. Okay. And I think we need more detail. So I'll subdivide it more. Um, so, so the more you subdivide it, the more details come through. Um, so the details that you can use is, um, basically based on the power of your system. So I'm just adding those fine details. So the brush will be down below this video. And you can use it any way you want. So the brush is just basically like a brick texture, because in mode in creating like a in creating mod houses, um, the underlying brick textures, the under the bricks, but it's made with mod, so. Since it's not like a very fine-tuned craftsmanship, um, so you can get get it protruding from the hot sometimes. So that's what I'm trying to fake.
So we'll just do this. I'm gonna like, take more time with this in my own project. I'm going to just place it. So even in the in industry, most of the times they just use alpha because they probably they will use alpha and after then they use like the brush to define it more because like they have much project to do and doing it by hand it takes like forever but we ask how far is this like straight to the point and easy so as you can see we're getting like that craftsmanship uh, with this texture and you can actually take your time and align it and it looks organized but i don't want to do that because i want it to look like muddy and stuff like that So we're getting close to the middle, middle and I the I know the symmetry is going to like obstruct that. So I turned it off. And this brush is set the alpha is set up in a way to not this really destruct your geometry so it's adding the base on your form so it's not going to like add extra like um it will not extrude any unnecessarily unnecessary geometry so it's like it has alpha in it it's like is it see image format so it's really nice so another awesome brush i i created is the um like a um, line brush but it has like more details inside so as you can see it's like a line but has also some details so it's like to make it like to add more handcraft it's in what <laughs> ah, what's happening to my voice so this brush enables you to like, just add like nice strokes to make it look more imperfect and create lines but the line will not look so primitive because of it the line are also, is also detailed so i'll just use this line to accentuate the brick nature nature of the whole form um, i think we forgot to do here just uh, Oh, so this is what we are having now. Looking awesome already. I think I'll be, that's all we will do for this model for the meantime. And yeah, so that's the detailing of the hut. And let's preview it in the viewport. So this is like a non-destructive workflow. You can also see deleted if you're not happy with the result. Cool. So this is our final result. So I hope you guys found this helpful in some way. And I'll provide the alphas in the desc description. And stay tuned for the next part because the next part we all shall be grooming the roof. Okay, bye-bye for now. See you next time.